So, for today, Teacher Erica, first of all, let's talk about podcasts in general. So, as we all know, podcasts, uh, this is like a talk show that could be viewed or watched through video or it could be listened by audio, just like listening to the yes, radio. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's like a modern day like talk show on the radio, but this time it's it has visuals. That's true. Okay, it can be accessed through visuals such mm-hmm. as YouTube and other social platforms. That's nice. In, in general, what could be uh, the best part in teaching foreign students? Well, I couldn't really sum it down to one, but mm-hmm. One of the best parts of teaching foreign students mm-hmm. is actually like becoming friends with them because mm-hmm. we've worked together yeah. for a long time yes. and you know how outgoing I could be That's and true. how much I like communicating mm-hmm. with people and making friends with foreign people or foreigners rather mm-hmm. is really different from making friends from people in your local area yes. you get to discover a lot of stuff That's well true. as a teacher you have mm-hmm. to teach them stuff but then surprisingly me as a teacher i learned a lot of stuff from mm-hmm. them from their culture from their lives from how they live their own lives i mean what 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 could be the feeling of a person who is experiencing this kind of stage mm, from okay. your experience yes okay well anxiety is basically a feeling of nervousness mm-hmm. and it's basically like when you are trying to do something risky or if you're about to do something important, you get nervous. Mm. And that's anxiety. Okay. We're now in our episode two of ESL Podcast. And our guest from today is from Kumamoto City, Japan. And she is a basketball player. I said she is. Please welcome Aki. Hey. You told me that mm. you had your first injury mm. in high school. Yes. Can you tell us a story about it? Uh, while I was playing, I jumped to grab rebound. Mm-hmm. And when I landed, I stepped on someone's foot. Okay. And I twist <laughs> my right ankle. Yes. I, I can imagine now how you you fell when you mm. took a high jump and you said you fell on the player's foot, yes. right? That's yeah, so painful. Yeah, yes, so painful. I couldn't mm-hmm. walk. You couldn't walk. Yeah. For how many days? Uh, maybe one week. Mm-hmm. Mm. Did you tell yourself at that time, I won't play basketball again? No. <laughs> If you want to really improve yourself but not do a lot of work, Mm -hmm. you can try thinking of your goal, right? Yes. And your goal is? Uh, Go to Australia to get the internal nations aviation, about aviation. Okay, see? So he keeps on thinking about his goal, which is to study in Australia, and he's now trying his best to actually get his target score. What is your target score? Target score. I try to more six points scores. Ah, well that's okay, that's achievable. I think you can. Uh, Thank you. And um, what advice can you give to our students or people in general who have dreams or goals? Uh, In my case, because I need to work overtime, Mm -hmm. mostly. So I spend a lot of time to do the same thing. So, if I need to give some advice, I will give people just do this and uh, to adventure about this. Ah, mm. so just do it mm. without like holding anything back. Yes. Just do it if you can. Yes. If you have the ability to do it, just do it. All right. Now, how about giving an advice to those people? Or experiencing anxiety nowadays mm. because I think you can best give uh, you're the best person to give advice because you have experienced it before right yes. okay, what could be that best advice um, I would say that most importantly live in the moment mm-hmm. because if you don't worry about the past because it's already in the past you can't do anything to fix it or change it mm-hmm. and don't worry about the future too because you, you can't do nothing about it. It'll happen when it will happen. And Dalai Lama once said, if you have a problem in life, mm-hmm. if not, why worry? That's true. Do you have a problem in life? 
If yes, can you do anything about it?、Mm-hmm. No. No. Then why worry? So don't worry and just be happy. Yes. <laughs> nice. That's the best advice. Probably just go with the flow. And yeah, just like Paris said, forget about the past. It's 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 now time to to face what's happening at present. Probably make a plan, have a clear、yeah. vision, and then don't think too much about it. Right? Just、yeah. go with the flow. Okay.、Uh, people think that basketball is just for men.、Mm. <laughs> Our guest here is a good basketball player. So, how are you going to inspire Japanese women?、Mm. Yeah, in Japan, basketball is a minor sport,、mm-hmm. mm, but、uh, basketball is team sport. So the player can get a lot of friends、mm-hmm. who support or help anytime, and you cannot only get skill、mm-hmm. of how、uh, playing basketball, but also learn a lot of things. Of course. Yes, and make precious memories. Wow, I like that word. You make precious memories, and part of that memory could be winning or losing,、mm. right? You know,、yes. playing sports, you should accept that.、Mm. You know, sometimes you're gonna win, sometimes you're gonna lose.、Yeah. But of course, as a team, you have to try your best to win or to win each game,、mm. right?、Yeah. And please watch out for the next episode. All right, so. Please stay tuned, and thank you so much for staying here with us in our ESL podcast, English stories and lifestyle. See you in the next podcast, guys.